What's up guys, it's Tyler from House of Cards TCG and we just finished a little tourney. It was uh, with some prize support and it was six rounds and I got first place with Vanquished Soul. It's very pure Vanquished Soul with just a ton of hand traps. Did very well. Uh, my rounds were round one against Vanquished Soul. I won that. Round two against Vanquished Soul. I won that. Round three was against, I think, Vanquished Soul. I think I lost that. That was to actually Shane Gutter. He was also playing Vanquished Soul. Yeah, he was playing yeah, Vanquished Soul cast here. I misplayed and it cost me the game. Uh, then game four was against Rika Sanavalon. I won that. Top cut, I played against uh, Shane again. Rematch, I won that. And then game six, I just beat um, Kaiju, which apparently was in the finals. It was a Kaiju OTK. Uh, all the, we recorded a ton of matches tonight. You're going to see a ton of live duels. So make sure to subscribe to the channel so you can check out all the live duels. I'm going to be commentating over and posting those over the next week and two weeks leading up to Nats. But let's dive into this deck profile. Let's get this first place deck profile. First place. All right. So, I'm gonna go pretty quick here. Tell me if that looks good, Shane. Is that good? Looks good. All right, so three Raisin, obviously standard. You gotta play uh, three Mad Love. Right there, there we go. Three Mad Love, uh, obviously insane. You probably know what the cards do if you're looking at this profile. Three Burger, you gotta see it. And then I played uh, two Caesar and one of the Pantera. This is your standard, you have to play all this. Uh, by the way, Shane does not play this. I play Pluto. Card is insane. It comes up so much. Um, being able to search this off of R Raisin after you special it back when you need a fire, um, I think this is mandatory. Shane does not agree, but I won. He didn't. So this is mandatory. You have to play Pluto. It's a searchable. Yeah, it sucks, but I drew it a lot. But you know what? It's just a fire in your hand, and it's better than the other, some of the other cards that I've seen people play. Uh, three stake your soul, and then we play one each of the uh, spells. I tried to focus on, I want monsters in this build, so I don't play two continue, I just want one. It probably, there's probably points where I wish I had to, but overall you just play one of these, like I want monsters in my hand, I've built the deck to have monsters. I don't wanna, like I don't play the cashier build because I don't wanna have Theosis, Birth, and like I just, in the field spells, I want monsters, period. And it's, it came up a lot. Uh, I do play Rota, which is searchable. And then my search targets, I play three Pot of Prosperity and I play two Small World. This was insane. Uh, consistency, if you don't see Raisin, you kind of lose. So I want to make sure I see Raisin. So I play like 13 copies of it, basically. Ways to get to it. Um, and then I'll side these Pot of Prosperities. I'll side out going second. But that still leaves me Small World to search a lot of targets going second. So it still gives me access to Raisin. But uh, yeah, five Pots, Rota, three Raisin, three Stick Your Soul. Plenty of ways to get to them. For Hand Traps, I play three Ash Blossom standard, two Ghost Bell because I don't play Fenrir. I played three Imperm. Imperm was pretty good, even with my Vanquish Soul matchups. Um, a lot of times I'll have put them on, like, you know, better have it. Um, and then, fun fact, it's kind of nice when you can actually make them bounce their Raisin and then they go have, already have Continue, but they don't have Raisin in the graveyard now because you made them bounce it. And so, actually, it's pretty nice, I'm not going to lie. So, Imperm does come up when it, when in those aspects of actually being able to get Raisin off the field back into their hand um, and play around Continue that way. And Imperming, sometimes going second on the link is obviously really good, so I'd still play it. Uh, Nib was very mid. Um, I think I summoned it a few times. I'm not going to say it didn't come up, but it was very mid. Uh, as well as the Bistial, is like three, four Vanquish Soul matchups, one Rika Sanavalon, and one Kaiju OTK. Like, Bistials were actually just not very good at all for my matchups. So there's that. And I played one Kurikara, one Dagran. Searchable off Small World, Fire Targets. Kurikara is MVP. For sure, Kurikara was MVP. Uh, going into the extra deck. We're gonna play three of the Rock of the Vanquisher, mandatory, Cerberus Unicorn, mandatory. I played Mookracker with Chaos Angel. Uh, idea behind this is with the Bestials and a Mad Love, you make Chaos Angel. Then you can take Chaos Angel and another card, make Muck and you get the effect to banish on field. Then you make a Mudcracker with Chaos Angel, another card, Mudcracker brings back Chaos Angel and you get to banish again. So you get to go with two banishes in one turn because this is not on Synchro Summon and it's not once per turn, it's on Special Summon. Uh, Baguska never made it. Uh, Exiton Knight never made it. I never made Chaos Angel. I never made Mudcracker. I did make Cerberus and Unicorn. Those come up. Um, and then here's what I played. It's a little spicy, but Borbo, Chalcanine, Hammer Kong, Tiger Mortar. This comes up, especially if you're going to break a board going second. A lot of times, Borbo is your fifth summon or you're getting close to it. So then you've already pretty much guaranteed that your opponent doesn't have Nib because they would just Nib you on the Borbo for sure when you go into battle phase. Um, so then this gives me an option to put two more materials on top and then make a Three mat or six mat Zeus with for three sins, or since I play two Zeus, 
If I go Zeus as my fifth summon, I now have Chaka Nine or I have Tiger Mortar and Hammer Kong if I need to make another Zeus. Um, so it's kind of a material for that. Um, this did come up a lot. I, I'm going to keep the zoo package in there. That's the extra deck. And then for side deck, I played three draw. This card's insane. I love this card. Probably should be a main. I played two Phantasme, also an insane card. Going second, you can just go ahead and special this, dig into your hand traps, and it just makes you like, even better. Um, and if they have Finrear and you special Phantasme, they can go Finrear effect target this. Because it targets, you can activate Phantasme effect, discard a card, and actually get rid of their Finrear, and it negates it, and you've already dealt with an interruption. Some people don't realize that. Uh, one Druid Swarm. Um, I played three Magma in main, so I could add the um, Caesar. The Caesar. Uh, the only other thing that Magma would add is if I, I going first, I could actually side in one Phantasme, and if I put Mad Love or Hammer or um, um, the other one. Border into the graveyard, I can magma search and then effect to, to search and I can grab a Phantasme to dig into more cards on my opponent's turn. That did come up um, this turn against the Vanquished Soul. I was able to do that, but it does play into Nib, so I gotta rethink that. Uh, one Pink, because Pink's insane. Three Cosmic. Uh, there was a Runic player, I didn't see it. Then I played two Eradicator, two Dimensional Barrier, and a Trap Trick to go into those. So that was the side deck. Overall, deck is really good. I like this deck a lot. As you can see, first place, baby. So we're going to try to defend the title, maybe do another tourney before Nats, even though Shane just covered the camera. But uh, first place. So Anything you would change? Um, can't leak that yet. you got to subscribe. Subscribe to the channel to stay tuned for more leakage. Talk about <laughs> Blaster. What do you think about Blaster? Blaster's not good. I tried it. It's not good. No, not good. Bestial's just maybe not as good.